Have you ever thought about destroying a lamp thorn using melee weapons? This was done on the most scuffed difficulty survival mode, which is a pain in the ass because saving is only when you flame. And trust me, the enemies love seeing you flame. What the fuck? <gasps> Killed me just then, what the hell? Join me on my journey to see how you can break full ant fall using a potato, carrot, and one secret ingredient. There, mate. So that's Miss Milkers. Hello, yeah, look at her, she's so slay. She's such a girl boss. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. All right, Neil. <gasps> Off, bestie. Okay, so here's where it matters. L lady is mummy milkers the darling of my channel this is a special allocation for the melee build we go strength nine because we get big legs at strength two for the 20 percent melee damage and rooted at strength nine for the damage resistance we also go nine for agility because blitz will literally transform you into a death machine teleporting around and stabbing enemies charisma is at two but we actually need it at three for lone wanderer don't worry we're going to use a special book later we're going to use the rest of our skill points into luck because idiot savant helps us level congratulations on being prepared for the future this part bores me into fucking death hand oh my god we're um a happy couple look at this perfect marriage people see i don't like sitting still standing still i want to kill something oh my god is this a fallout tv show oh my god i love the fallout tv show wow oh my god i'm watching tv yo it's no. time to move chat Ooh. yeah we're doing something 11 minutes before we actually do something this is the last time you drink some clean water slip 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 Step on the platform in the city. it really doesn't give a f again i know like there's an atom bomb in the distance look how dummy fix that girl is all right Holy shit, I'm so fing bullhorn. I wanna play the game. Holy fing shit. We're about to play the game. No, no, you're so beautiful. Anyways, interactive name. As you can see in the top left there, we get the wedding ring. The wedding ring is worth a lot of camp, so get the wedding ring. Also, I'm gonna check out this vault soon. You do be looking pretty fire. So we're gonna pick up this baton. So we want every coffee cup with the ceramic. The ceramic's pretty important here. Yo, I've seen this before. It's on the TV show. Oh my god, I'm watching TV. Yo, it's that bum ump man. Huh? Okay, we're gonna plug it in here. Unlock the door. So we need our early game set up in XP, yeah? It's gonna be 20 to 30 minutes of boringness. 20 minutes and we're finally in the vault. So I'm just gonna collect the nearby stuff. We need Radix and Radaway. Okay, I'm bored. Let's go back to Sanctuary here. So we're gonna help Ogsworth here. <coughs> so we're gonna go back into our house here. So here's the special board. We're going to put it into Charisma and have free Charisma. So if you go into the cellar, there's some gold bars you can pick up. I'm gonna pick up all this cram. Oh, there's the red X there. So here's the gold bar, which is worth quite a bit of camp here. There's three of them. And I'm just gonna pick up every... Oh no. Don't demonetize me. Okay, I'm gonna sleep here, which will be our first save. Oh. I forgot about this. Okay, if you're doing a melee build, if you go back into the house you came from here, there's a Grognag, the Barbarian book here. So crits of unarmed or melee attacks will permanently do plus 5% damage. So now here's the boring part about Scream. We're just gonna scrap literally everything. We're collecting wood and steel for crafting here. This is how we get XP. And this takes about 20 minutes, yeah. In survival mode, you need a lot of water. So we build a couple of water purifiers on the river. Then we're going to power them with some generators. Next, we're going to drag the chemistry station all the way back to the house here. I'm gonna build a bed here. The reason we're building this bed is so I can get the well-rested buff for more XP. I'm gonna get my first perk here. I'm gonna go with Idiot Savant because you get free X XP from any action. The lower your intelligence, the greater the chance. We're gonna build a sink for even more wall tarp, then build a pummel horse to get plus one agility, and finally a weight bench to build our chest muscle. And now, the exciting part. So this is our primary way of leveling up. We're we gonna do this until level 10 or until I get fucking bored, right? I'm done. I'm 
fucking bored of that. Okay, see how we have 930 steel? Okay, so there is 930 steel in one brick van. So if I press the scrap and store button, I can duplicate it. So how I do it on PC is I'm holding scrap right now, R, and when I let it go, I'm going to roll my finger onto it tab here to store it. See how there's two menus here? I'm going to press E twice. I still have my finger on the store button. So you want to let go of scrap, move your finger to store, hold your finger onto store and press E or enter twice here. Okay, we have double the steel we duplicated in. So I'm going to go to this chemistry bench here. We're going to go into traps here. So I want to spam build Caltrum. So the reason I want to spam build Caltrops here. I can sell them for a lot of camp. And it's pretty good XP, honestly. Don't forget to add all the perks that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Okay, now that we got all perks and we're level 10, let's go hunt some bear meat, shall we? Our first stop is the robotics disposal ground. So there's a fusion core on the trunk here. There's a fat man here, which we'll need. And here's a mini nuke right here so we're gonna boot up this terminal here activate the sentry bar once he's booted up we're gonna eject the holo tank so if he's alive and some bloody mole rats will spawn so i'm just gonna go into my holo tape here i'm gonna self-destruct the robot here he hoots up come closer so we're gonna loot that shit and Get to the red rocket, yeah. Oh my god, it's that dog in the TV show. Oh my god, I'm watching TV. <laughs> Sorry, Bessie, I need the liver. So our next stop would be Grey Garden. We need to go here to get some carrots and potatoes. These ingredients make for a very delicious bear roast recipe. Conveniently, also near the Grey Garden area is the said bear that we're going to hunt. Say, sweetie, get your fat man and mini nuke ready. Big game needs a big weapon. I really don't want to miss this, yeah? If I miss this, I'm pretty much fucked, yeah? I can just nuke a bear. All right, let's go. Yep, we got the mate. Perfect. We're going to head back to Sanctuary and complete our build. We're good. I'm just going to save it in case something goes wrong here. Okay, we got an infection already. Fuck me. I'm just gonna slip some water here. Slip, slip, slip. Okay, so this is what defines our build here. So if you go to the camping recipes, under roast is the bear roast. It adds plus 10 melee damage or one one But this is a typo, yeah? This is not what it is. It's actually plus 500% melee damage okay so you're thinking one hour isn't long all we're gonna do is we're gonna eat it and take a rat egg and if i take a rat away then it lasts permanently okay so my stick does 56 damage take note of that so i'm going to eat the bear roast in but if i take a rat egg and if i take a rat away i can sleep i can eat i can die and the buff will be there. Hey, look at my bat damage now. Chat, look at my fucking bat damage. All right, let's go fuck shit. Um, is this appropriate wasteland attire? Ready to girl bossing a whole wasteland. <laughs> fuck you of the Molotons. I hate this shit. Killed me just then, what the hell? Here, Miss Milk is your warm lady. I hate this shit chat. So after all that heartache and trouble, here's El Ruan. I mean, look at that damage, holy shit. Yo, we're gaming. What's in this so relaxing camp? <laughs> 